on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Sorry, kid, you can't be a hero. As that is when All Might leaves. The only thing you can hear that really changes is that Izuku didn't allow those sort of villains to escape by clinging on to All Might, so no second such villain instant. And his dreams are crushed. Yay! It's just then he's just pretty much wandering around aimlessly when he sees a bright light just appearing out of the sky from nowhere. As he thinks it's a shooting star, he wishes that he had a quirk. And then he sees that it's getting closer and closer until he sees a huge crash, smoke and everything. Only thing luckily no fire, <laughs> as far as you can tell. Him worried about people being hurt, or at least wherever the hell that thing was, could be very important. He runs in to see what could possibly crashed. This is when he actually does see the, you know, the spaceship slash gravity train. Him being as he is, okay, I was Capsule Corp and all that perfectly understandable type of reasoning. If anything, when he gets to the machine itself, he's very curious as of how it works. When he sees that it says geez, I was like well, what what is that supposed to mean? As he does start failing with buttons, then he he accidentally puts it to 5G's, and as soon as he activates it, he plummets to the ground, aching and banging, thinking, okay, so G's means gravity. That also explains the X. Him narrowly being able to actually deactivate it. But this is when he actually thinks, wow, this thing is very dangerous. Maybe I should. Then he sees something. He sees an uh, instruction manual. And he sees that this thing is for training and space travel? Huh. As he starts going through it, seeing all the things that come with it, especially considering. Goku's used it and uh man I forgot how long it took him to get dynamic but all I know is if it had enough food to feed him that is something that is insane <laughs> so you can imagine Izuku sees this as an opportunity he has a no the full capabilities of this place, but he at least gets it just that it is meant to help him train. As he is going through all the bells and whistles, it's when he sees a notebook. It was left by one named Goku. He and then he just starts seeing like, okay, so wait, what's key? As Goku, as far as drawing, let's just say he's adequate. He makes slight illustrations to pretty much help drive the point home. Izuku, seeing this is subpar to his hero notes, but still easy enough to understand. 
he doesn't know what key he is, but at uh, the very least, yeah, he should at least learn how to really utilize this whole hmm, gravity chamber. So, first he starts at half times Earth's normal gravity. This is still weak ass Izuku here. So, when he does regular exercises with his slightly enhanced gravity, he feels it a lot more than he would if he went to take up a beach. And when it comes to food, he has plenty of it. I was talking about protein, fruits, vegetables, all that. Which he does actually learn a slight bit of cooking. It's when he actually goes too far and he can barely move that he realizes, oh man, I screwed up. And then he sees a little capsule. Hmm. Huh. It looks like. Hmm. Oh, okay. Seeing that, yes, this is full of Capsule Corp brand capsules in which he doesn't have time to really go through them. So he puts them away for later just to see, okay, what else could help me around here? And then he actually finds a strange garden. Weird enough, it only has beans in it. So he's still being sore. He's like, I guess I can just use them for a snack. So he picks one and eats it. He is instantly healed. All the fatigue is melted away in an instant. And Izuku is like, okay, this is not a snack. It is medicine. And then he sees another notebook in which it's Goku again. To say about how he pretty much had to beg and plead Corrin to teach him how to make sensu beans. And then he's like, wait, magic? Magic is real? He was just like, no, 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 no. That, 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 nah, that can't be right. So at the very least, he's thinking, no, that's, that, that's some BS. There's no way magic is real. Uh, we'll see about that. As yes, Izuku is studying these. Huh, these notebooks the best he can. He's training as much as he can. And by the four month mark, he's at least by. Uh, let's say. Mixed with sensu beans, a whole shit ton of food that can sustain him for God knows how long. Yeah, he's about five times Earth's normal gravity now. Hell, anyway, if he does end up injuring himself, sense to me! But as they do start to slowly dwindle, and he does realize these things ain't normal. They are way more special than he even thought they were to begin with. Then he starts backtracking, just like, okay, so maybe magic is real. As he goes step by step, using Corrin's notes, in this case, and he actually does start making more sensu beans. But then he thinks, these things could save God knows how many people. Or Wait. Then he wonders, wait, what if someone not having the best intentions learns about these? Him not being a complete idiot, he's pretty much like, yeah, I can't let anyone, I can't let anyone know that I have these at all. It's not worth the risk. Not at all. Uh -uh. It's too risky. By this time, he doesn't know how to use key. He may be able to sense the energy, but he sure as hell can't use it. Which it actually does come in handy whenever he feels like, okay, there's a lot of food here, but 
chances are it's close to expiring which yes as you would expect you never know how long that damn battery chamber has been in space so he has no choice but to actually guess they're taking up hunting and there being court animals he sees it as hella good training Ingo has noticed the changes in him but she he she doesn't get no straight answer Izuku is like oh I decided to do some more exercises wait where somewhere in the woods are you okay are you being safe yeah of course I am they said the sense of beans no scarring no everlasting damage at least if he eats one soon enough <laughs> there isn't any and he's pretty much thinking more about what All Might said. They couldn't be a hero, and that pisses him off. And then he pretty much tells his mom that, yeah, maybe All Might isn't the best hero. Her just taking his double take, like, wait, what? I'm sorry, what you say? Yeah, I don't think All Might's really the greatest there is anymore. I mean, yeah, he's a great hero, but eh. uh, are, are you sure? As she sees him pack up all of his all my memorabilia and pretty much I'll at least keep this. As yeah, it's a poster of All Might. Where I'm, I'm donating it to someone else who might like All Might. Uh, are you sure? I. Uh, I mean. Well, how about this? Why don't you at least try to get some of the money back and sell it? At least try to sell it, okay? I mean, yes, it's going to be difficult considering it would have been worth more if you get it in the original packaging, but you should at least fight for your worldly possessions in this case, don't you think? Izuku begrudgingly begins like, oh, it's going to be hard to get rid of these now if I had to sell them instead of just donating or giving them away but fine it takes him a while but luckily he does find someone to take them off his hands in which his poster he hangs it up in the gravity chamber with him as somewhat like motivation as his muscles are getting more defined as his skills are getting more in tuned Though, yes, he doesn't know a lick of key right now, besides sensing it. When it comes to Goku's fighting style, eh, it's doable. He's just gonna have to stay on the ground so far. And with that, it's now at the six month mark when it comes to training. Izuku, by this time, he's gotten so used to to the gravity of five times, he decides to bump it up to ten times. All at once. First, he starts walking and crawling, trying to get more used to it. To, yeah, to pure exhaustion. His muscles are being put through the ringer. His bones are creaking with every single movement. He's the thinking, I have to prove him wrong, I have to prove him wrong. I can do this, I can be a hero. As when it comes to school, he still attends. People are just noticing his bulk up, his change in personality. Even Bakugo, when he does try to bully him, he's just, sh just shadow steps away like it's nothing. Like, wait, how are you so fast? It's like, don't tell me, you no, know, I don't have a quirk. I'm just better than you. Uh, wait, what? Everyone's just like, what did he just say? Bago, he is pissed at this. 
He's like, oh, so you think just because you got a little upgrade, you mean immediately means that you're better than me? As Izuku thinks of this is a time to test out how his training's been going. So, come at me. Uh, what? You heard me. Come on. Unless you're scared. I. I hmm. What's wrong, Kaski? As then, yes, their classmates are watching, just waiting to see what's going to happen. As Bongo, he is pissed. The teacher don't give a fuck. As yeah, he just signed your death warrant. As yes, Bongo is rocking towards Izuku, but to Izuku, this is just slow motion shit. This is nothing compared to how he is on the gravity chamber. Hell, he knows that Bongo trying to be in that. Yeah, chances are Bongo would be falling flat on his ass. He'll be eating pavement. As Izuku is just dodging, bobbing and weaving, not even trying to attack Bakugo. As yes, as you can imagine, this pisses off Bakugo even more. Say, so, wait, why aren't you attacking me? Why won't you fight back? Like, I don't need to fight back. As then. This is when Izuku is like, oh yeah, I always thought fire was interesting. What? As Izuku has a lighter. He has a Zippo lighter right now as, wait, you sm nope, but it does come in handy when dealing with hotheads. Wait, what? As Izuku gets on one knee and sparks the lighter. Bongo realizing he's been sweating this whole time. He let a puddle of it. And Izuku blows up Bongo seeing him flying through a wall. The teacher is finally start decided to grow a pair and say, hey, hey, none, none of that. Izuku just glares daggers at him. <clears throat> And Izuku, with this show of mastery, yeah, everyone looks at him differently. Like, does he have a quirk? No, he doesn't. As, yes, that's pretty much gonna be uh, the end of that school day. Bago, his pride is wounded. Will it ever be prepared? At least repaired for another height of Izuku. Yeah, time will tell. One thing Izuku is really worrying about is getting to UA, training like hell, becoming the number one hero, and proving all the naysayers wrong. That's all that matters to him. And this by the eighth month mark. Eh, uh, let's say ninth. I have to nerf him a little bit. He can you he can be in twenty times gravity. And he has started to tap into key more. But when it comes to using energy based attacks, he can't. When it comes to flying, he can't. If anything, he can hover. At the very least, he knows how to do that. Him tending to the garden of Sensu Beans as well as making a makeshift garden all throughout the outside of the whole gravity chamber he's actually picked up some more skills that would be very useful when it comes to the whole point of survival for one hell he knows how to forage which is a lot harder if you don't know which plants are which when it comes to hunting uh, Ingo was scared seeing him with a knife, but he knew that it, he sure as heck wasn't going to get a gun without her, her asking a, a mountain of questions. So, if anything, Izuku knows how to butcher, he knows how to forge, plant, 
Only thing is, he's actually curious about the method. Especially when he starts using this magic. He wonders what else this method could help grow. I mean, of course, he uses it for the Sensu Beans method, but what if he uses it for his other plants? I mean, yeah. He doesn't really have to worry about medicine or anything, but. If anything, better safe than sorry. Him integrating the technique that is used to actually grow sensu beans has yielded with actually pretty interesting results because of the fruits and vegetables that he does end up growing. They grow a lot faster than they should have. As well as the content of when it comes to protein, not to mention the high source of calories, he's a pretty much impressed to how this magic he's been using solely for the sensu beans has other effects on plant life. He would like to see what happens if he puts some of that magic in the water, but I think he's also worried like, how would that affect the ecosystem here? Because if anything, it's hard enough hunting when quirks are a factor. That animals can have quirks. To a point where his knife broke on the hide of a you say, steel armored bear. He ended up killing the bear, but it was not without its consequences. He almost lost his eye and his left arm. The one for that sensor being. Inko will have lost her shit. Ugh. It's safe to say that Izuku, yeah, he's a lot more cautious when it comes to what kind of game he's trying to hunt. First thing he actually killed was a rabbit, and that was merely by coincidence. It just fell into one of his traps. Uh, poor little bunny. But, Izuku being you know, the more, yes, I don't want to hurt or kill anyone, he does use everything he can utilize from the things he kills. Bonus if it has a quirk. At least one you can actually utilize without it being like. Oh, uh, do I have to activate it myself? Like the hide of the bear? Easy good. Only thing Easy good has to do is raise body temperature. Or at least generate heat. And then it turns into um, some kick ass armor. One comes to using his claws as well as, well, fangs. He actually does. Have a makeshift knife, at least knives made out of it. When it comes to rabbits, a lucky rabbit's foot for one, and a rabbit's two for the other. Inko is a little worried seeing her son. Okay, so why are you doing this? We can go to the grocery store. He's a good I It's my training. I still want to be a hero. As yes, this is pretty much Izuku trying his best to keep as much of a secret this is to Inko as he could possibly do so she doesn't end up getting caught in any kind of crossfire. But this is when he does notice something off with Inko. You know, she's not as active as she used to be. Much to the point where he's she's kind of slow to a crawl I'm thinking okay that's weird and then nearing the end of the 10 months like the last day the next day is the whole entrance exam he finds Inko passed out on the floor 
him taking her to the doctor. Yeah, she's sick. She has a mystery illness that takes away so many parents from, you know, Disney children. He's like, you want to know why did you say anything? Why would you try to do anything to... She says she has tried, just nothing was worked. As Izuku looks at the sensu beans in his pouch, um, here, eat this. It might make you feel better. Dumb beans usually have to be cut. Oh, come on, trust me. Her eating it, she does feel a bit better, but. Next to the doctor's visit, he knows this is like, wait, she's still, yes, he's still sick. Where you gave her did help slow it, but mm, it's still there. As, yeah, Izuku, he was looking forward to telling Inko that after getting a clean bill of health that he was in UA. But now it doesn't even feel like he should say a damn thing about UA. He needs to know like, okay, so how can I help her? The damn sensu bean didn't work. So, as then he thinks about the capsules. There's something called a rejuvenation tank. He only had a glance of it when it comes to the description. Wow, yes, the sensor beans are more like a quick fix. Uh, yeah, I'm. Why? And then he thinks, could those help her? Could, could I risk her knowing? Him pretty much contemplating. If this doesn't work, and she learns about this, fuck it. As then Izuku just helps Inko through the woods, and when she does finally see the gravity chamber, the game Izuku is hunted, skinned, and butchered, as well as the garden that he's cultivated himself. She's wondering, wait, how long have you... A long time. <sighs> okay. That bean I gave you is called a sensu bean in which it can heal physical injuries, but apparently it doesn't work on diseases or illnesses. What? So... This is my last, this, this, my last attempt that I can think of. My last resort. Him taking her inside and uh, popping the capsule. He sees the sheer magnitude of this thing. And, okay. All I can say is, ugh. What? Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know how any of this works. I'm trying to read through the instructions, but I know someone who can help. What? What? <sighs> hey, Mom. I, I need your help. Come to such and such, such and such, whatever this place is. And this is when Izuku does meet one recovery girl. Her being all kinds of shocked. Like, Inko, you have some real explaining to do, young lady. You? Huh? Oh! Hello, Izuku. Yes. 
My mother is recovery girl. I mean, wait, but she can help you by kissing that. Yes, I know. But you, yeah, I got my cork for my father. I, <laughs> but, uh, we'll have plenty of time to explain this interesting development. But, uh, she, she said something about you needing a, a doctor or something. As, yes, he takes her around a quick tour until they get to the rejuvenation chamber. And where she's pretty much... Young man, you really have some explaining to do after this. So, this thing is... Kind of like a healing tank, I can see. What's in it? I... I, I don't know. <sighs> For all you know, your mother could be allergic to this. Good thing you decided to... What, you want to consult a doctor? Mom, I'm not even allergic to anything. That you know of. Uh. <laughs> okay, you're scaring your grandson. <sighs> you are just too careless. Anyway. Yes. First things first, we should test this liquid. I'll do it. What? But, ma, no buts. If this really can help you, I at least want to make sure it's safe. As the recovery girl does take a little splash on the palm of her hand, as she does, it does it do its thing, is then her skin is nobly smoother. As she sees wrinkles are disappearing, is like, well, I'll be damned. I'm grown. I can cuss if I want to. Damn it. Uh, not in Oh, I'm sure you said worse to him. At least around him. No. What? No. We do not use profanity in our household. What? Her just looking at you. No. I've never heard he curse ever. Really? Never? Not until recently. <clears throat> Either way, yes, it seems like this substance is safe. Hmm. If all the equipment here it does seem like I'll be able to safely check our vitals and whatnot. So, yes, I do deem it safe enough for you to utilize. <sighs> all right. I see if this whatever thing is works. As then Inko is sedated. Izuku thinking that she's passed away has to be completely reminded. No, she's fine, she's just taking a nap. I will guard her vitals and you do whatever it is you do around here. Oh yeah, I do it for training. What? <sighs> well, I already told mom, so might as well. Yeah, I, uh, the main function of this, besides, well, space travel. What? <laughs> it's gravity manipulation, at least in one specific room. Wait, what do you mean gravity manipulation? As then... Should, do, do you think she'll be fine if you uh, come to witness my training regimen? What, is, what do you do for training, precisely? Well, besides martial arts, I also do push-ups, sit-ups, pretty much a normal basic fitness routine. Okay, but for those, for you to have such gains so quickly, at least your abs are like they're made of marble. <laughs> Thanks, but uh, like I said, gravity. How far does it go? As Izuku is testing that, just trying to see, he's like, okay, you see how far this thing goes. As it went, 
it just goes through way past 600 times normal gravity is cover your <coughs> whoever you got this from expected you to be a monster uh, what actually it crashed here what huh Izuku what? Do you even know who this might belong to? What? Well, uh, Goku, or whatever his name is, I believe. Don't you think you would want it back? Actually, as he takes out another thing, that pretty much this thing was a gift. And it's free for anyone who wants to train, get stronger. To use. But Cover Girl's still like, okay. Okay, this is still weird, but okay. How far can you go when it comes to tr the gravity change? Him showing 20. Hers, 20. Yeah. Oh, well, let's see how. Her pushing the button and she plops to the ground. Her barely being able to look up at Izuku as he's just standing and he's jumping around doing cartwheels, backflips like it's nothing. Fix the gravity boy! Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. Him doing so and she's pretty much. Whew. How long have you been here? A long time. <sighs> Goodness. No wonder you're so powerful. Y yeah. So. You've been training here. Yes. That's. That's great. Her just walking away. Just thinking. Maybe he should have um, Might's Quirk. As yes, he goes to look, check on Inko. I wish he sees the aftermath of just a little bit of treatment as something smashes. Izuku, he runs in there like a bow of hell and he sees like, wait, what happened? As Recovery Girl falls to her knees, just pointing at the chamber, like, Look what happened! As Zuku gazes upon Inko, as she isn't as uh, chunky as she was, she's thick right now, but not to the point of not chungus, but thick. She looks good. Izuku's, wait, wait, what, what's going on here? Well, it seems like this thing not only can heal wounds and possibly illnesses, but it seems to also revitalize people. It's quite extraordinary. You have more of these capsules? Well, I, uh, yeah. Can you show me? Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna do... You can trust me. Izuku does show her, she's like... Have you opened any more of these? Uh, no. I just want that one. Truly. Yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see. A motorbike? A car? And then Recover Girl's just going through these things. Is like, do you have any idea? No. <sighs> of course you don't. But either way, you've 
amassed quite the, you know, collection here. Is that a good thing? You could say that. Y y yes, I believe so, but if anything, I was just more thinking about hmm, what's this a reservoir? A uh, a house? Just looking at Zuku up and down, it's like, are you sure you haven't used any of these? I'm like, no, no. Seriously, it, how how big is a reservoir? I, I I don't know. Oh, right, but I think you should start. I don't know. Testing these. Wait, what? Yeah. Huh. If anything, this seems extraordinary. It's, hmm. This technology. It is definitely now this world. It's incredible. You are very lucky to have got your hands on it first. I know. It's a, no, 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 no. You're still in the doghouse for all this secrecy. But what? But like, no buts. It shouldn't have taken you until your mother was in danger to share this with her. Well, I didn't even know that you were my grandmother. Well, I, of course you didn't know I was your grandmother. Do you know how dangerous it is for heroes with families? Uh, exactly. So don't start getting snippy with me, young man. I, yes, ma'am. Good. That's pretty much they're going through all this stuff and there's okay let's see about this motorcycle thing as soon as it poofs she's like <whistles> wait it's a hover bike it, it is mine ah oh, no 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 it is not but, but why you don't have your driver's license. So I shall take claim of this. No, no you ain't. Excuse me. No, you are not taking something that is rightfully mine. Excuse me, but who's gonna... Uh, I'm stronger than you, but I have more experience. Besides, I fought stronger than you. And kick their asses. Have you? No. But. <sighs> if anything. <sighs> we need to get some sleep. But I want to keep an eye on your mother. Oh, and if you're tired, and here, eat one of these. And just tossing her a sensu bean. Very funny. Where's the rest of it? No, you're supposed to eat one, and then your fatigue is gone, your heels. Like, what? Oh, yeah. I mean, it saved me. I don't know how many times. Excuse me. Yeah, just trust me and eat it. Fine, I suppose I, as soon as she eats it, she feels completely energized. Like she just had a fresh cup of coffee, good breakfast, as well as, uh, you can say a good eight hours of sleep. Fully refreshed. Tell me, you said this could heal other injuries? It, well, yeah. 
What if someone was... No, 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 that's just... What? What if someone's respiratory system was ripped out? At least half of it. Oh my god, that, then I would suggest them to have one immediately. Or else, like, let me have one. But, wait, is that what's wrong with you? No, but I know a friend who could use it. Um, okay. I'm just tossing her one as... Wait, but what about mom? <sighs> okay, let me give you a rundown on how this thing works. It's a good game, pretty much. The basics is... Recovery Girl is Gaon. Izuku, he is pretty much all worried about his mom, wondering if she's going to make it and everything. Because soon enough, he's going to have to go to his first day of UA. But he dozes off. And when he wakes up, he sees that Inko is gone. And he is going fucking ballistic looking for her everywhere until he hears a loud noise in which it's Inko she's in the training room uh, Ma? as yes it's prime Inko but she has gained some bulk them legs don't lie. And she, so, this is what you've been hiding from me this whole time. How long was I out? Long enough. As she lifts Izuku, and she's like, Wow, even my powers are back to how they used to be. Huh? <laughs> used to be I um well okay okay fine you see my quirk is called attraction not an attraction like uh, physical attraction is or anything like that it allows me to draw things towards me which comes very handy when you don't want to get up and get the remote and things like that. Wait, were you a hero? Uh, no. No, I wasn't, but at the very least, I would actually help my mom where she uh, ask. I'm actually a freelance doctor. At least I used to be. I actually, uh, Resigned soon after you were born. Wait, why would you? Well, with your father being as busy as he is overseas and my mom wanted to work, someone had to be there to protect you as well as, you know, raise you. So. But I. I'm so sorry. No need to apologize. <sighs> if I had a choice, I would do all over again. <sighs> but man, it feels good to be able to use my quirk like this. <sighs> but wow. What is it? I think you look good thank you him not used to Ingo being taller than him is like wow that's that's some good shit uh, language I'm sorry but it turned you into how you were before it, it's kind of amazing don't you think yeah just imagine if someone else got their hands no Excuse me? No, we can't let too many people find out about this or there could be a war against us and everyone who wants a dip in that thing or the sensor beads or 
access to the Skype and training. It's not worth the risk. Wait, but you allowed me to. Of course I did. I figured that this could be the only way to save you. Since the sensu bean doesn't work on illnesses and such. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what? That's just so sweet. You didn't have to risk this coming out, but you. You risked this for me. Of course I did. You're my mom. I love you unconditionally. Oh, please. If anything, if only I was more strict or at least more supportive of you wanting to be a hero. <sighs> but to say sorry for not really supporting you like I should have when it came to your dream, you have my full support. What? You can be a hero. I mean, seriously. Who knows what kind of uh, limitations I had to break through to get to your level. What do you mean? Like, you're at two times, right? Normal gravity? Wait, so you know? It's like, oh, yes. That, let's just say that was not fun. N well, I'm at 20. <coughs> what? Yeah, I can take on 20 times normal gravity, so. How? Wait. How, how fast are you? Well, uh, I I don't know. I never really. As then he just disappears. As I like, wait, where'd you? It's like I'm right here, just behind her. Like, I can also do. As he starts moving so fast, he creates after images. At the point, he can only make two to three. So right now, this is like what? Yeah. What about how strong you are? Mm. As there's a barbell near him, as a watch. As he starts bending it to a spiral, then he unbends it. Much to Inko's surprise and amazement. But this is about the time where Recovery Girl bursts through the doors and says, what happened to Inko? Whoa, wait, what? Hey, Mom. You're, you look young again. It's like, well, yeah, thank you. But I, wait. Either way, uh, Isuku, do you have any more of those beans? Uh, uh, yeah, I have. Hey, I grow them myself. What? Why? I'm sorry. What? What? As then, this is about the time when Nezu, Aizawa, All Might, and other people of the of UA show up. What? What happened? What'd you do? <sighs> yeah. You see, as then All Might show just stands right above Yuzuku's. Thank you. What? As then All Might debuffs. But it's not as bad as it was before. He's not spinning up blood or anything. He's not coughing it up or whatever. His scar is still there, but it's nowhere near as bad looking. Wow. So. 
Yeah. Okay. Grandma, please explain what you told them. As, yeah, she told him about at least the medicine as well as the rejuvenation chamber and sadly the gravity chamber in which yes uh, Izuku is very upset at this as hell who wouldn't be but he can't really fault his grandma for it considering uh, it was a spur of the moment type thing she was so Excited to hopefully be able to heal All Might to 100%. That she just said, eat this, and yeah. He was debuffed. So you can only imagine the surprise when he felt himself being healed. Okay, fine. So it's just you heroes that know. Yes. <sighs> great. Just, just great. I guess you're going to try to take it away from me, huh? Wait, what? <sighs> Smart boy. Uh, Nezu? For someone like you to have something so... revolutionary... It's very dangerous. But I... Uh, you just want me to turn it over to the heroes. That was the plan, correct. However... Huh? Someone has something to say to you. Just looking at all my... Dying. I said thank you. No, that is not what I meant. Apologize for what you said to him about him not being able to become a hero given your origin story. You should be one to judge. Uh, you're right. Yes, of course. It's pretty much, yeah. All Might does profusely apologize to Izuku and then proceeds to tell him not only was he given his quirk by someone, uh, it was purely out of luck that he is as strong as he is and still alive despite his stubbornness and Potato, potato, this and that. This means this. <sighs> oh. You hypocrite. Wait, what? You're a damn hypocrite. As then. Haha. <sighs> I just want you guys to forget about everything when it comes to this place. I, what? As then, Izuku knocks them all out. Recovery Girl is freaking out like, wait, what's going on? As Inko, what did you? <sighs> I never thought I would have to use this. As his hand starts glowing. Like, Isuku, what are you doing? I have to take away their memories. What? Wait, you can't. As then, his hand starts sparking. You're going to lobotomize them if you... Trust me, I've been practicing. What? As he places his hand on each and every one of them. Having All Might be the last one whose memories he extracts. Wait, how did you... There was a technique. 
that uh, was in one of the notebooks. I long since ripped it up and burned it, but not without learning it first. I saw it as a last resort type move. It takes concentration and at least a basic understanding of using key. What? Wait, what do you mean by key? Don't worry about it. But yes, yeah, so it allows me to target certain memories, at least recent memories. Those are the, always the easiest to obtain. And either block them or destroy them. So, they won't remember any of this anyway. One thing they'll remember is probably you giving All Might a sense of being. Really? Don't worry. I won't do the same to you. I can at least trust you guys, right? Grandma? <laughs> of course.